A very good morning to all of you. First of all, I would like to thank you all to give me an opportunity to speak my invaluable words about this valuable occasion. As you all know, we have gathered here for the celebration of Republic Day. I'm excited and glad to get a chance to say something about this auspicious occasion. We are very lucky that after the corona pandemic, we are at least able to gather here and celebrate this day. This year, we are celebrating the 71st Republic Day of our country. We celebrate Republic Day on January 26th, the day when the Constitution of India came into effect. But do you know what does this day actually mean to a common man? As most of the people think that this is the day for children to do some performances and play and enjoy. But in fact, this is the day for all of us to realize the real sense of freedom and equality. Because this is the day we actually became the citizens of India by the constitution, which ensures the fundamental rights of every citizen, right to equality, freedom, religion, culture, education, and privacy. This is the day when an Indian became the brother of another Indian. This is the day all discriminations based on birth, sex, caste, race, religion and region were abolished by the law and all the people of India were promised equal rights. The right to freedom of expression, of speech, the freedom of organizing peaceful assembly and forming any association or party which makes India a democratic country in real sense. This is the day we became constitutionally free to reside or move anywhere in our incredibly beautiful country. Really as an Indian or to practice any profession or any religion of our own choice. This is the day when Indian people realized the real sense of freedom and brotherhood. And this is the day to reaffirm our commitment to unity in diversity, fraternity and equality among all our citizens. On this auspicious occasion, let me remind you the contribution and efforts of those great leaders and freedom fighters who have struggled throughout their lives and even sacrificed their lives for the sake of our country. I would like to conclude my speech by reminding you the great contribution of all those people, especially Dr. Bhim Ram Bedkar, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, and Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, and others who made this great constitution available to us. Jai Hind.